Hey everybody, how y'all doing? It's me, Super Paul Games, and let's play some baseball! We got a rematch against the Diamondbacks. They beat us in the first series of the year, which was just like two series ago. You can see they got a 4-3 record, we got a 3-4 record. I think they're still tied for first place. Why don't nuns like it? Come on, nuns! Between the Arizona Diamondbacks and the San Francisco Giants. Oh, wait, I didn't mean none like it as the nuns do like it. Of course, who doesn't like baseball? Belt that dick, Pence. I was just reading the uh, scoreboard with the batting order. Matt Vaskersian with you on a day that's been circled on their calendar since about midwinter. It's our home opener! Okay, it looks like he's constipated behind the pitcher. We didn't get any opening day lettering on the side of the field. What? Come on, game! We played opening day in San Diego. They had the opening day thing down. Opening day in Arizona. They had the opening day thing down in the uh, out of bounds fall territory. Opening day here in San Francisco, nothing. All right, Giants, we finally get a home game. We played okay on the road, not great. This is where we need to turn it on. God bless America. Ah, it's good to finally see the big Coke bottle and the giant glove in left field. It's nice to be home. Draw ever closer to first pitch. Let's listen in to public address announcer Mike Carlucci. And now your 2020 San Francisco Giants. Give it up, San Francisco fans. Ooh, the yacht's up there. I like to imagine that's like Hunter Pence's and he lets the team on there when they do well. Quickly now, we'll look at the two men who'll get the start. Ross Detweiler, you look so evil. Satan's son pitching for us. He's a left-hander. We had a 360 average last year. With that, the batting order for the visiting Arizona Diamondbacks. What's the key for them to win this series opener, Harold? Well, the key to this game for me, they're facing a team that makes a lot of errors. Put the ball in play. When they're on the defensive <laughs> side, you know you're Yeah, uh, apparently our team has had an issue so with committing some errors side? early yeah, in the year. Hopefully we get that down. None of them have been because of Tug Dick. This might be the first fans. season where he hasn't had an error yet. At least I don't think he had one. Don't correct me if I'm wrong. Drink of water out there Ignorance is bliss. The that can really You'd think I'd be more blissful then. What? Let's play some baseball. And you typically get more extension to the plate on your release. The key, though, is that he has to be out front with his release point, or he'll be more likely to miss up in the zone. Yeah, the ball, or the announcer is right. The ball is right. <laughs> you need to get that ball extension. Took him a little while to figure out how to work things in the big leagues, but boy, can he catch. He can still catch and throw. He'll fool you every now and then, too, but he calls a tremendous game. Alright, Tug Dick hitting 280. Oh, 289 was what he hit last year. One of the stars from yesterday's game is he had three hits in the victory. Yep. Runner on first, one out, bottom of the first. I just hit my knuckle on the controller. That didn't feel good. Called strike over the outside corner. That was a really good pitch. This is Gary Simmons, as you see the rest of our umpiring crew there. You know, Simmons has a strike zone that can benefit both pitchers and hitters. It just depends on where in that zone the pitch is located. Sometimes Ooh, both sides just a little late on that. And sometimes both get frustrated. Yeah, what that guy said, go Giants. Here's the 0-2 pitch. And this is fouled at the plate. That thing really dropped. I thought it was going to stay in the center. The 0-2 once more. Grounder down the line at third. Uh, but this will wind up foul. All right. Making him throw a few pitches. Pitch number five on the way. Johnny Five's still alive. Number five's alive. The next 0 2. Oh! Oh, I don't know. I don't think that angle's any good. Yeah. Hey, it's the trains! I forgot about it. The trains in left field. Except for the Bart. Well, he hit it hard, but. 
not particularly the way we wanted to. We're down two to one. Screw you, Arizona. Hey, train buddies. It's good to see you. Tug Dick's best friends. I think in the off season, he not only grew his hair long like a hippie, I think he probably wrote some books about the trains out there. <laughs> Maybe someday he'll become a best-selling kids author. They're like, Tug Dick, what made you want to be a kids author? He's like, I'm not a kids author. I wrote this for adults. That was like pop-up books. And then he flips off the uh, people at the book signing. Mostly the kids. Come on, you got that, Tug Dick. Oh, shit, you don't. Couldn't get to that, unfortunately. And he's in there easily at second with a one-out double. Left fielder really never had a chance at that one at all. It was over his head before he knew it, bouncing off the base of the wall for an easy double. Those are the kind of shots anyone would feel good about. It's not often they hit it where he can't get to it. Ready for another chance? We are down five to one. Top of the third, runner in second. This game is getting out of hand in a hurry. Come on, Detweiler, quit sucking balls. Dick waits on it, and he brings it in for the second out of the inning. And no tag at second. Dick's like, that's right, ladies. Sometimes you gotta wait on the dick. Nice catch. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Tug Dick. Fielder. Tug Dick. Bottom of the third. We're still down by four runs. Whoa. You picklehead! You tuna head, how dare you! When you're in the box like that, you want to protect your money makers, right? You don't want anything around your knees or your feet, so... Oh, I, think, I thought he meant his balls when he said protect your money maker. Ooh. And a swing and a miss at a ball in the dirt. That's the perfect pitch after you've just brushed a guy back. The hitter probably isn't sitting up there thinking you're going to flip something soft up there. And here's a ball. Hit. Oh, I don't think it's going to carry far enough. Is in pursuit, makes the catch, and that'll retire the. He's got a lot of air under them. <laughs> Fortunately, that doesn't help. Digging in to try it again. Now Phil Westbrook. We're on first top of the six. The score is worrying me. Nothing. Oh dear, Nancy. Not Nancy Drew. Thinking about gamer pixie LPs. He's gonna hang out with his train friends. I choo choo choose you to hang out with train friends. Tug Dick 0 for 2, bottom of the 6. We are down 6 to 1. I think this guy's trying to send Tug Dick a message. This is like two at bats now, where he's come way inside. Well, it should be 2-0, oh, but he goes way out of the zone to go after that one, and it's even 1-1. One and one. Well, if you're wondering how good his stuff is, that is it right there. They're not picking him up in this day game right now. Oh, I did not mean to do that. Bump the controller. One Come on, Tug Dick. We need to get something going. We got to get on. One run is not going to do it. Probably doesn't help that, looking at the flags, the wind is blowing in today. Not that that helps with this at bat so far, but with the other ones where you cream the ball. Delivery. Now a swing and a fly ball. And they can't run it down. Well, that's three foul balls in a row. He's definitely battling up there. Yeah, pitch number six on the way. Making him work at the very least. Now another one, two. Right up the middle. If you've noticed so far in the season, and I don't know if it'll keep up, but Tug Dick's first two seasons in the majors, he was a free swinger and swing at... Is that even a word? He swung at everything. Now he's a much more patient hitter. Not, not that every at-bat's perfect, but he's more likely to walk, more likely to wait for something good. But he's still going to want that steal. Second base looks tasty. No, oh, I don't know if we can steal on this guy, though. He's got a really good throw from the stretch right there. Oh, yeah, he did the leg kick. Safe. 
So they still haven't picked up an extra base hit in this one, but that stolen base at least gets him a guy in scoring position. And another yeah, steal. Exactly what the Remember, this season, he's going happening. for Ricky Henderson's record. It's 100 and some steals, isn't it? Something happen in a different way. I need to look they it up. Need a single to the outfield. In fact, it's probably even runner. listed in the game. What you looking at? Oh, no. breaking for third. Pitch inside the throw. <laughs> I guess it's not as automatic as I hoped about stealing third. You do that late kick and third is ours. Oh, shit. All right, maybe we're not going to get third. Come on, Hunter Pence, you're a good hitter. Get us home. Fouled back. I forget who's pitching for them, but he's doing a much better job than most pitchers we run into pitching from the stretch. I mean, look at that. But we might have been able to move on that one. Ah, oh, shit. But the rest of his his movement to home is very quick and efficient. Down and away for the strike out there. Not a whole lot to say about that pitch that hasn't been said a million times already. Yeah, I would have swung at that too. Real tough pitch for a hitter to pick up. I would have swung at that thing. That's how Tug Dick talks. Not me. <laughs> All right, two outs, bottom of the six. Abraham Correa. Come on, Correa. Now a pickoff play at second. Runner back safely. Oh, we don't want to do anything stupid. You remember a couple weeks ago when the manager talked to Tug Dick? And he's like, be smart in your base running situations. He's like, Bochy, nobody tells me what to do. I'm Tug Dick. Uh, see, that was role playing. I wasn't going to have him do it, but then I was like, wait, Tug Dick doesn't like to be told what to do. Steel situation with two outs and a runner on second. I can't say I agree with the strategy, but at the same time, now he can score a lot of different ways. Come on, all you need to do is get a hit, my friend. Count is totally in your favor. 2 0 count. And here's a fastball for a strike. Two and one now. Well, I don't know what he was I don't know why you sniffing right your there, fingers. Save that for the you're bedroom, friend. And you get a fastball right there, middle end. Maybe he's like, mmm, pine tar, I'm getting high. <laughs> I don't think you can get high on pine tar. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. He's set and the two one pitch. Well, that's he's fallen behind now. Three and one. This is one of those rare hitters counts we've seen in this game. They're just having a difficult time getting it going. One run, four hits. Tug Dick might be close to a five-game hitting streak himself, too. Tug Dick is like, me, 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 me. Come on, uh, whatever your name was, get a hit. It's a swinging bunt up the line. That it's foul, though. Well, he's out in front of that changeup. I think, Matt, that was a result of the fastball the pitch before. He's throwing so hard, he got to onto that fastball in that situation. He's set. Here's the three and two. In and he walks side, him. As he nearly got him, and it's ball four. That's all right. We need base runners. One run isn't going to be enough. He was tempted with some really good pitches, but he stayed this Good eye, my friend. That's a big dude. He's got my body type. <laughs> the donut body. <laughs> Lowe's numbers are horrible. I hope it's because he's mostly been on the bench this year. Come on, Lowe. And he'll take strike one on the fastball, registering at 93 that time. He's putting together a nice outing so far. It always helps when you get ahead in the count. It's true. It always helps to get some ahead. I mean, ahead in the count. Ball one. I wonder if that call not going his way right there has anything to do with walking the last. Could be a drama we queen pitcher. He's like, Ugh, oh my god, I didn't get the call. No boys called me. Just throw it in the strike zone so we can get a hit. We need a bunch of runs. We need at least five. Now that we need all five this inning. And he's a little too high with that one. Two balls and a strike. Great chance right here as a hitter to be aggressive. You I bet you if he doesn't get this guy out, the manager pulls him. He's losing his stuff. Base right here, 
It's time to grip it and rip it. Runners on first and third, two away. If somebody says that it's time to grip it and rip it right before they offer you a hand job or after, say no. Sent on Come on, get through the center. The yeah, Hill fuck you. There. <laughs> Damn it, low. And the Giants will be we got nothing here. out of that. The Left a guy stranded. The leave a couple. The lead remains five. It's six to one. Oh, and our team does have an error. I wonder where we have the weak spot on defense. Tug Dick one for three. He's hitting 270 so far this year with a 308 on base percentage. Runners on first and second, two outs. They didn't pull the pitcher. Interesting. Becomes set. Here's the nothing and nothing. Come on. Get out. It didn't go as far as I wanted, but we're going for three. We're going for two because there's a slow ass at third. And to score the runner from second. That's all right. It could have been a triple, but the runner ahead of us was too slow. The important thing is RBI double, two runners in scoring position. Come on, get that rally going. And why isn't there any Cotton Eye Joe in this song? How have they not paid for the rights to use that song? They always play that at baseball games. Where did you come from? Where did you go? Josh Colmenter. Will come on now and he'll slide into the seven spot in the lineup following the double switch. Yeah, his ERA looks horrible. I like that. Though he's been really good against righties. Look at that. 133 against right handed batters. Stepping up now, Hunter Pence. He was sat down on strike. Alright, that's worse than Hunter! Hit lefty! He's like, I don't know how. I don't know how people switch hit. Like, there's no way I could ever hit lefty. Because I, I grew up, you know, hitting righty. Like, you know, you weren't there. <laughs> yes, Paul, I was there when you were eight playing um, baseball with other kids. I mean, eight years old, not like eight days ago. Who's that fat old man? I'm going to ruin that kid when I slide into second. <laughs> but when you grow up, you know, hitting righty or lefty, it's really weird to try and hit from the other direction. Here it comes, 1-0. And I believe he broke the plane of the plate there. He most certainly Come on, Hunter Pence. I know he's th throwing, you know, what is that? He's got a 133 average against righties. But destroy him. Make that average go up. It's an RBI opportunity. Though, actually, they wouldn't be credited From against that guy. Kicks and, deals. and that swung on and fouled straight back. We're down by three runs. Potential tying run at the plate in a Hunter Pence. Two, here it comes. And a big strike uh, Hunter a struck out twice today with runners in scoring position. That's a little frustrating. What's really frustrating is we've had the chance to win or tie it because we've had enough people on base. We're down by four runs. It's eight to four, top of the ninth. But people just not coming through. And Come on, Tug Dick, you got that. Easy, easy catch. Alright, one out runners on first and second. Brand new pitcher on the mound. And all of a sudden, this thing feels doable. We need four runs, though. Please drop or stay fair. Oh. and one. Here it comes. And a neck high fastball that time. You know, something I know you like me, pitcher, but there's no excuse for trying to neck with me. Only the first game of the series definitely could have an impact on the rest of the series and maybe even the whole week ahead here's the one and one pitch whoa Look out, and that'll give him a close shave i'll tell you there was intent behind that pitch i'm not saying he was trying to hit him but when you're facing a guy like this you we've had three at bats now box. where they've come uncomfortably close to throwing at our guy ready to deal here's the two one. Oh, i was late on that to the right side going to the stands going to the stands Yes! That was my pitch, too. <laughs> on, guys. 
Ready on two balls and two strikes. Here it comes. Full count. See, that's the more disciplined tug deck. You wouldn't have seen that in the past. That would have been strike three. We might still have a strike three. Not a good idea to throw. But that would have been it. The same pitch three times in a row. Full count here. Here comes the pitch. Oh, got under that. Please go to the stands again. Oh, I don't think it's going to. And no one can get there. Just reached in the stand. Wait, did he not get it? No, we stay alive. Now a swing and a ball chop. We got a real battle going on now. What is this? Pitch number eight on the way. The next three, two. Pitch swung on and hit in the air. Please get out. Oh, I didn't think it was going to get out of the stadium, but still. I was good at bat, but not good enough to do anything. At the plate, Mark Trumbo. We must have tied it. Somebody else got the guys home. We've tied it. Top of the eleventh. We've had a lot of extra inning games. It feels like for how short the season has been thus far. Come on, Dick Delicious. Not in my park, son. So one, two, three. Go the Diamondbacks. This remains an eight all tie. Tied ball game going into the bottom of the 11th. Tug Dick two for five. In once again. Tug. Bottom of the 11th, one out. He's had a lot of good at bats. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. He murdered it. Right carry. Carry. Fucking shit ball ballpark. Anywhere else, that probably would have been gone. <laughs> he hit it into, like, the deepest part of the park. Because they got that triples corner over there. And they got the wall. Pretty elite speed on display here as he rockets around second. Would have taken a perfect play. Okay, I didn't hit it quite as hard as I thought he did. But he still hit it to the deepest part of the park. Well, I was hoping for the home run to end it. Either way, we're on third. All we need is a sacrifice or a hit here. And we win the game. Potential winning run at third. Hunter Pence, just put the ball in play, man. There you go! That's the game! Hunter Pence coming through! He ain't no Brandon Moss, and we win! Tug Dick was huge in this game. Hey, this game looked like it was going to be one of those wild ones right from the beginning. But when you could win this thing in walk-off fashion, what a way to win a ball game. A walk-off win? That was a hell of a game. Come on, is Tug Dick player of the game? I think he deserves to be after that outing. Hunter Pence, though, coming through, too. I can't believe we tied it up when we were down almost all game. Tug Dick's like, you know, I thought, oh my god, someone peed on me. It's me! This Gatorade. Man, this Gatorade tastes like pee. <laughs> yeah, that was awesome. Tug Dick player of the game. Killing it. RBI double early on to get the rally started, and then that triple at the end to set up for the win. Yeah, I bet you if the wind hadn't been blowing in, you can see the wind that is blowing in there by the flags, that might have carried out. It would have been tough though because of how high the wall is over there in that part of the park. It was an easy triple though. Hell of a game. And we are at 500 now. We should be at the same record as the Diamondbacks, so we are tied with the Diamondbacks. That was a good game. Well, everybody, I'll see y'all next time when we dick around some more with Tug Dick Baseball.